workers are threatening to strike in Baltimore City over a contract given out to an out-of-state company. ABC 2 News investigators broke this story this afternoon on Twitter, letting you know thousands of kids could be without a ride to school, all over an agreement they say will put hundreds of local drivers out of work. The young family has been driving kids to school in Baltimore City for more than 30 years. In June, that comes to an end. They're just treating us like it meant nothing, absolutely nothing. The Young's company, YNL Transportation, is one of nine companies threatening to strike in Baltimore City. These local contractors have all done business with the city school system for years, but they won't be anymore after losing bids to provide service to an out-of-state company. We uh, take this very personal. We are very upset with the way all of this has come down the wire. You can call it sour grapes, but these drivers say while they've been loyal to the district for decades through late payments, administration changes and more, the company that got their business has not. First Student, an international company based here in the states out of Ohio, won the 50 routes they collectively would have supplied. In a letter, school's CEO Andreas Alonso says the work was awarded to the lowest cost proposals first. But these owners say there's more to the story. First Student actually in the past um, pulled out of a contract with Baltimore City. During the last bus contract negotiations, First Student backed out of a deal with city schools after winning a bid. Alonso says they used a 90-day clause allowed in their contract. But these owners say they're the ones who had the city's back when there was no one to drive thousands of students. When the first student walked out on them, we were there to bail the city out of the situation that they were in. Some of these companies say they even purchased buses left behind in that first student deal and are still paying the debt. But their loyalty to the children they carry and care about meant little during the bid process. Now it could mean a lot to these family-owned businesses, with as many as 250 people standing to lose their jobs at the end of the school year. The owners say they've tried everything, but now their drivers may have to walk off the job if they can't get the district to reconsider. As contractors, if you allow them to bail out and allow them to come back, we're going to bail out. And then we'll just come back in 2018. Baltimore City Delegate Sean Tarrant supports the local bus contractors. He submitted a bill in this session asking that in-state companies get an advantage in bidding for jobs in Baltimore City. Other local contractors who actually won bids in this process are behind them too, as is the School Bus Contractors Association, although that organization does not support a strike in any way. Baltimore City Schools told us simply this afternoon all procurement protocols were followed. Now, if you already follow Josie on Twitter, she's been tweeting out all the details in this investigation all day. You can find her on Twitter at Josie from ABC2.